Hi and uh, welcome back. Uh, so basically I'm going to today be doing a video on ranking each legend for Flashpoint and non-competitive. So I'm going to be talking about each legend, where they're ranked, where they're placed, reasons why a little bit as well, which I'm sure you, a lot of you will know and understand, but just a little bit more detail as to the reasonings why I'm ranking each legend where they're placed. And it will be very clear as to which uh, kind of mode I'm talking about, whether it's non-competitive or, of course, uh, the new LTM mode, uh, Flashpoint. So my name is Dratlon44. Um, I'm going to be uh, talking about lots of different things. Uh, so if you do like the content and you enjoy it, you find it fun, interesting a bit different um, a like on the video would really help me out because again uh, this just gets a little bit more noticed uh, if you do decide that you'd like to actually subscribe to the channel for future videos and content and streams and all those good things then that would be amazing I'm currently at the moment pushing for 100 subscribers before the end of 2020 uh, currently on 69 which is a funny number doesn't seem to want to change but I would like to see it grow and it would be amazing if any of you could help me out in that regard but that said uh, that is enough for me in that regard so I'm going to get on with the content and start off with the rankings. But before I do that, of course, do remember to never stop moving, never stop believing and stay apex. All right, let's get into the rankings. OK, so starting off with the rankings. So it's going to be basically Loba that's still down the bottom, pretty much. Now, it really does sadden me to say that Loba is in a position where she's still not that viable. Um, and this would be in non-competitive and Flashpoint as well, and there are reasons for both. Okay, so non-competitive wise, yes, she got a recent buff. She now starts off with half of her black market already like kind of built up, and then, you know, very shortly, about a minute and a half later, she will have a black market for an area. But you're already looting an area, and it's very uh, noticeable. It normally will be seen by teams. It doesn't really offer that much because you only get to choose two items, and it's very, very, very poor. And the main issue that was the main problem with Loba was never her black market anyway. It is actually her bracelet. And I've done concept videos talking about Loba and how they could improve her. And actually, you know, other people have as well. And they still haven't changed it. Now, maybe it's something that's in the works and maybe it'll get changed at some point. But in a non-competitive matter, although she is, you know, potentially she could be so good she is actually really 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 lacking at the moment which is so disappointing in regards to of course the character the legend and the personality in flashpoint again it's the same principles actually with this one she offers exactly the same thing she offers really very little and sadly she's just in the lowest tier in my eyes in the b tier but do let me know if you agree with any of these rankings because again it is only my opinion and i realize that everyone's is going to be different and i understand that and fully respect everyone's point of views on in regards to each individual legend so the next is octane and octane is one of those ones it's quite hard to, to place in regards to flashpoint now in non-competitive meta he is one of the most fun legends to use again i've done a concept video on what i think could be some really good buffs to kind of add something to the team to make him a bit more viable um, and they have supposedly said that they're going to give him some buffs in season seven so i guess we can wait and see what they decide to do with that one um, but in regards to non-competitive he's a fun legend but he just does not offer enough to the team. And I think this, again, is the biggest problem. In regards to Flashpoint, the limited time mode, he is not as bad um, because he can regenerate health outside, of course, of uh, the, you know, the Flashpoint or heal areas, which is really good. However, you know, he doesn't offer much to the team. He can't really hold down positions. Yes, he can do the jump pads, which can get you maybe to high places. But I don't think it's as useful as some of the other legends. And I'm sure that uh, a lot of you may well agree. It's a shame. He's a cool legend. I'd love to see him placed higher in both. But at the moment, that's kind of where I feel he's at uh, in regards to, to what he is as a legend. Now, next one, of course, is no surprise. is going to be Mirage. And I'm sure a lot of you will sort of agree with this. So Mirage, again, is one of those legends that I think is constantly in the need of a rework. Not um, like endless reworks, massive reworks, or just little slight reworks to get people guessing a little bit more and maybe to offer a little bit more to the team. He doesn't offer enough. The main thing that he had, which of course was his invisibility whilst reviving, got a slight nerf uh, when Lifeline's passive got changed. Um, and we'll be talking about Lifeline, of course, a little bit later. Now, in regards to Mirage, of course, he's a great, uh, fun character to play. He's one of my favourites, and I use him a lot. And he's also one of Viper's favourites, or one of his main. He's actually his main. Um, so we both really like the character. I think he's really, really cool to play. But in regards of what he offers to the team, 
he doesn't offer as much as some of the other legends, unfortunately, and it's a real, real shame in that regard. Um, if, let me know if you can think of any, you know, reworks for him. I mean, I have done rework videos, so again, if you want to check that out, please do. Uh, is always some concept ideas that maybe could be worked on and changed for him. But he doesn't offer enough. I mean, respawning, you're invisible, yeah, okay, great. But anyone sees a beacon, they're going to shoot roughly at it, maybe guessing. Or they're just going to wait till the respawn happens, so it's not that great, because they would rather the teammates drop. The decoys don't do enough, and he doesn't have any healing. He's still got one of the bigger hitboxes. Not the biggest by any means, but, you know, he's still an easier target than some to, of course, hit. And that makes him just a, a B-tier legend for me. Uh, again, let me know your opinions down below in what you think from Mirage. Do you think he's a bit higher, or do you think B-tier as the lowest tier for me would be, you know, where he should be placed? Okay, so the last legend in the B tier for me would be Bangalore. Now, she is not as bad nearly as the other three in regards to non-competitive or, of course, uh, Flashpoint, the LTM mode. Um, but she's still not as good as some of the other legends in what they offer to the team. Now, her smoke situationally is very good, so a bit like Mirage's revive, it's very good in certain situations and can clutch out a revive that you might not have otherwise got. But if you are against uh, digital threats or Bloodhounds kind of like ult, you're pretty much uh, in a bad position. And that is where her ability, you know, maybe lacks a little bit and can be countered quite easily. Uh, her ult is okay, you know, the faster charge time that they gave her recently was quite nice. But I don't still feel like that is enough for what her ult should do. Messi makes people back off, but again, situationally it might be really good. But it's very much depending on the play. Her best part is her passive. You know, yes, you can run faster. Uh, in non-competitive, that's a great thing because, of course, you can just duck cover, heal up on all those things. Uh, in, of course, uh, Flashpoint, maybe it can just give you a little boost of speed to, to get away, hide. If you're in a heal area, maybe you can hide and heal up, of course, because the healing is quite fast. So it is definitely better than the other three that I've mentioned. But let me know what you think about Bangalore. Is she higher than that? She could be borderline A tier, to be quite honest. It was really hard probably placing her comparison to the other ones but i still think she's a b-tier legend in comparison to the others now moving on then to the next one so my a-tier legends was going to be uh pathfinder was one uh so his grapple uh, his recent changes to how the grapple works so the changes in regards to the timer uh makes him a lot more useful uh, to the team he can zip line across uh, a little bit faster in non-competitive again it's just you know gaining good positions pushing getting away if you need to and of course in flashpoint it's one of those things where, you know, you can maybe use his grapple to uh, get to a heal area or you can fire out the actual grapple for all the team to get to a heal area or out of a bad position. It can sometimes save your life. Yes, you are a bit of a target when you're on a zip line, so it's not the best ever. And there is that nerf where if you keep jumping on the zip line, uh, that can be a downside as well. So there's little things there. But however, he is a better legend than he was. Uh, it's still too early to tell exactly how good the changes are, uh, but I do think that, you know, certainly as regards to, to those kind of changes, I think it's a much better change for him than it actually was previously. So I'm sure that there are some fairly happy Pathfinder mains compared to what they used to be. Now, again, he's not perfect, but he's in a better place than he used to be, which is absolutely fine. So the next legend then is Ramparts, and Ramparts I've placed in A tier in Flashpoint and non-competitive for two reasons. Pretty much it comes down to the amped cover and the bonus that she gets with the LMGs. Now, if you are an LMG user or you want to use an LMG, of course, she's going to get a slightly faster reload. She's also going to get, you know, sort of like a slight buff in regards to uh, the mag size, which is not bad, um, you know, and it's always a kind of a good thing. Regarding the amped cover, so the amped cover is very, very useful if used correctly. It is very much dependent on player level. Um, and I think that this is one of those ones that uh, very much comes into uh, its own, especially in like Flashpoint, because you can like build up cover where maybe you didn't have any. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to, to kind of build up, so there is a little bit of a time scale. Um, and I would say that that is very much kind of one of those things where you know you've really got to be kind of clever with where you place it, how long it takes, be aware, keep cover you know, all those things. But again, it can be very, very useful. Um, I do think that her ult is not too bad. I mean, again, it's very, like, fixed turning circle. 
Um, but, you know, I'd say the amp cover is where it's really apt for, for her, what she offers to the team. And the LMGs, of course, is for, for her individually. But definitely an A-place legend in both uh, non-competitive and Flashpoint for me at the moment. Now, let me know if you agree with uh, where Rampart's placed, because, again, you may not. Uh, so the next one, then, is Crypto. Now, Crypto is probably the hardest one to place out of the lot. Because this comes down to player experience. Now, if you are playing with a pre-made team in either non-competitive or uh, Flashpoint, and you've got a competent player that knows how to uh, actually use him, then you are looking at a definitely a strong A-tier legend because he can be used in the way of getting the banners if one of the teammates falls from reviving them. Uh, he can, of course, uh, loot the um, the vaults, although uh, Flashpoint doesn't really count for that because, of course, uh, it's actually on World's Edge, uh, the vaults are. But, however, he is very good with the drone positional and things like that. And especially if you are pushing for things like the badges uh, that Aftermarket uh, event offers, uh, along with the Flashpoint event, then he is a very, very strong legend indeed. The problem is with him is, is that there are a lot of players who are very um, uncapable with him. And I think that that's where he could be so easily a B legend and probably one of the worst legends because it really depends on how the players kind of use him and how they get on. And that is a big, big thing, I think, with that particular one. Let me know what you think of Crypto. I know that there are Crypto mains. Uh, I think he is a legend that's one of those ones that, again, just like Mirage, he takes his time to learn, like I've said before. And I feel like he's in a good place. I think actually as a gold to a legend, I think he's very strong. And I think he's very, very good at the moment, if used correctly. But uh, again, I definitely say a good A tier in regards to both Flashpoint and of course uh, non-competitive mode, if used correctly. If you're not very good with him or you're not very competent or you're not very confident with him, I wouldn't use him in the mode. I just wouldn't recommend him because he is probably one of the worst legends to, to use if you don't understand what he can actually do. Okay, so the next A legend, uh, or A tier legend, would be Wraith. So Wraith got a recent change to the way she runs. Um, so now she no longer kind of runs with, like, moving forwards, like, with her head down, making it a little bit harder to hit, apparently. Don't know how much of a difference that made, but I guess, you know, in those kind of circumstances, now she runs like every other legend. Was it a big nerf? Uh, let me know to your Wraith mains, because I haven't really seen any difference. But, however, that was something that they decided to change. Uh, she still offers the portals. She still has Into the Void. Very useful. Uh, in non-competitive mode, of course, a lot of sweatier players do still play her, even in non-competitive. Uh, and, of course, we all know that she's very strong in ranked anyway, so, you know, very, very uh, not surprising. Um, there isn't much to say about Wraith, if I'm being honest. She's just a very strong legend. She's got a lot of good things going about her, um, and I think that she's uh, definitely an A-tier legend in regards to, to how she is. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of her, because, again... You know, I do feel like she's just got a lot of tools, very useful, but she's not the S tier legends that some of the others uh, would come in. So Watson is the next one. So Watson is a legend that uh, basically has the shield regeneration. Now, in non-competitive mode, mm, it's a real hard one. She could actually be potentially a B tier legend or an A tier legend. It's very hard, and I would say it very much depends on playstyle. Personally, I put her in the A because she has got the tools if used correctly. Um, but, you know, that is a real difficult one. And, of course, in uh, Flashpoint, she's got the shield regeneration, which is quite handy, especially if you are outside of a heal zone. It is quite useful. So, again, definitely uh, a good thing. Uh, so the next one, then, is, of course, going to be Bloodhound. Now, this was probably one of the hardest ones to kind of rank because this one is one of the ones that's going to have a different rank. Um, in there so bloodhound has got so many tools and yes he got a recent nerf we all know about that he got a recent change didn't he to his scan when he's in his ult it got changed to eight seconds rather than six is that a big change is that really a big thing honestly i don't think it is so with bloodhound i feel that they are very strong um the abilities the beast of the hunt is amazing with the eight second scan still really good uh, i feel that the um, l1 ability or the ability that it has the normal scan is strong when it works although it's still a little bit uh, inconsistent you can't always see the enemies and i hope they fix that soon his passive is probably the weakest thing but it's okay it's not amazing um so this one is a split. So in non-competitive, he's definitely an S tier legend for the reasons that I've just given. Uh, in Flashpoint, I would put him as an A tier, and that is only because there are better legends out there to use if you're trying to push for the wins. 
So yeah, so, so Bloodhound for Flashpoint would be an A tier, non-competitive, and S tier. One of the only ones that I would place in a different uh, sort of like legend tier, depending on which kind of game mode you're playing. Um, right, okay, so the next ones are the last four. Uh, so we are going to go with Revenant. Now, Revenant, I think we all know, is an exceptionally strong legend right now. He's kind of annoying, if I'm honest. I hate going against him. Um, he's got quite a few things going from his passive is okay. The Silent Crew can be a little annoying at times not the biggest deal because the audio is not very good anyway uh, so I don't think it makes that much of a difference um, the uh, sort of like his silence grenades can be irritating because it has that distortion across and kind of causes you not to see so easily I don't really like that and it's kind of a bit similar to the gameplay in the background with his heel thing you see this kind of green flashing it's a bit like that but kind of orangey it's a bit of a pain um, the of course the totem is where he's at and why I placed him in the S tier Simply because you get, uh, you know, him put the death totem up, the whole uh, team pushes, and of course, even if you knock them back to the totem, they go back with half health and full shield. And if they're in a healing uh, arena, they can just push you again. And yes, I mean, okay, you know, maybe uh, you're healing as well, but you're not going to heal quite in the same way, so they can get away with the damage. It's so, so strong. And it's the same in non-competitive and flashpoint. I would say it's equally the same. It's so strong at the moment. It's absolutely borderlining kind of ridiculous and uh, is one of those things where I would definitely say he's really really good as a kind of a legend uh, but you know let me know your opinions on uh, him what do you think um, okay so Gibraltar is going to be next so Gibraltar what can I say about Gibraltar? He's got everything from, you know, a gun shield that gives him extra health. Uh, he's got 15% uh, less damage from Fortify. And, of course, then he's got um, the dome shield and, of course, the big airstrike that comes down. This legend is amazing. He's definitely an S tier in both. Uh, he's so strong. Hard, hard to kill him, uh, pretty much. And if you're trying to push for, you know, wins in Flashpoint, he is a really, really good legend to use. He will win you some fights that you maybe wouldn't otherwise get. The faster revive in the Dome Shield is nice, and although it isn't as good as Lifelines, it's still the second best uh, revive, I think, in the game. Because Mirage's is okay, but... You know, you haven't got that protection, and it's not any quicker. So that's the reason why, of course, that one is lower. Um, so the one after that would be Caustic, of course. Um, so Caustic is a legend that is going to be uh, an absolute nightmare to deal with. He's got the gas, he's got the fortify again, he's got all the other things, and he is an absolute nightmare to kind of deal with. And I do think that he's a very, very strong legend in terms of what he can do. Uh, he's positional, he's kind of like Gibraltar in that he's tanky. Yes, he's a little bit bigger. But they're both S tiers for different reasons. Pretty much with Corsic, you can gain position in the final ring. You can gas it all out. And a bit like Watson, I suppose, for Flashpoint. I mean, she definitely could be very good for, for definitely uh, Flashpoint side of things. Uh, if used correctly, fortifying down a, a particular area in a heal zone. And, of course, I mean, Air Watson even could be S tier if used correctly, to be quite honest. She could be B tier if used in non-competitive for sort of kind of the way that uh, people play. But she could be S tier kind of when it comes to um, sort of Flashpoint. So it's one of those things where it very much depends on the legend. The last one, of course, is Lifeline. Lifeline is absolutely ridiculous. She's so, so strong right now. Now, in non-competitive... I would say that she would be an A-tier legend. So again, a split between this one. And the reasons why I say she's an A-tier legend is simply because she's such a good legend in a lot of regards, but she hasn't got any kind of getaway cards. She hasn't got anything like Mirage or Wraith. Uh, once she's being shot at, she's got, of course, that extra 5% damage. Uh, you know, little things like that. Yes, she's got a heal drone, but in outside of, of course, uh, non-competitive, the heal drone is kind of a little bit like, it's good, but it's not great. Her care package is not bad, but it could be better. Where Lifeline is really strong, of course, is her passive, which can keep you and the teams alive. And that is such a massive thing. And that is both in, of course, a non-competitive, even ranked, I guess, and, of course, uh, Flashpoint as well. And then you can use the healing drone. In Flashpoint, it is really, really strong because, of course, it gains you that extra health quite quick. It means you can start regening your shield. Um, but in non-competitive, it's very, 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 very strong. 
and uh, a really, really great asset. Um, and I think it is the best passive in the game, personally. I don't think there's any other that are any better. Um, but that is it for my ranking videos. So, I mean, pretty much just me ranking all my videos. I know it's lasted nearly 20 minutes. It's a little bit longer than I would have liked. However, I want to talk about them in a bit of detail. I don't want to just rush it. And I kind of wanted to, uh, you know, provide a video that hopefully you guys uh, all enjoyed. Uh, so do let me know what your thoughts are, what you think, and whether you agree or disagree with my opinion. Uh, be much appreciated um, in regards to everything else uh, like I say if you do like the video let me know uh, comment below um, all those things and subscribe for future content if you wish uh, but always remember to never stop moving never stop believing and stay apex I shall see you in the next video take care bye now